Hi everyone, you're very welcome to um, this evening's webinar. Um, if you, if someone could give me a shout in the chat, if you can hear me okay. Brilliant, thanks so much. Thanks Sam, thanks Sophia. Okay, so um, just to introduce myself quickly, my name is Ella, I'm a student ambassador um, at DCU. And so part of my job is to promote the course that I study. So I'm in my final year now of um, physics with biomedical sciences. And that's one of the routes that we have through the undergraduate physics programs, um, which I'm going to come to later in the presentation. And um, while I'm presenting, I won't be able to see the chat. So if you have any questions at all, please put them in the chat and then I'll do my best to answer them um, at the end of the presentation. I think this stops automatically at a certain time. So if I don't get to it, um, please feel free to look me up. I'm on the Unibuddy platform. You can search my name there and I'll leave a link in the chat where you can ask questions if I don't get to them, okay? So I'll start the presentation. Um, that's just, we have some slide there, the Twitter one and the Facebook probably a little bit out of date, but the main one there being the um, physics website, if you want to scan the QR code and any information that you maybe don't take in today, you can you can look at again. So welcome to DCU Physics. We have our own building on DCU campus, um, unlike the biology and chemistry courses, they actually have to share a building. So we have our own, it's called the Marconi. So if you do come to study physics here, hopefully that's where you'll be doing your lab work and you might have some classes there. Um, you can see the picture of it there on the slide. So we're gonna start off, um, why study physics? Physics is essentially the answers to many of the universe's big questions. Anything ranging from energy generation and distribution, um, weather and climate, environmental um, monitoring, things in the health sector like diagnostics, therapeutics, um, people as well, interests in new technologies like quantum technologies, nanotech, which is a really big field at the moment. Um, you'll do a module in that in fourth year. Um, and then sp space exploration, of course which is the big exciting one. Um, and then furthering on, why study physics? Well, one great bonus of studying physics is that it's a very broad education. Um, future careers focused on the creation on application of new knowledge. And essentially it's like an international passport. You know, you've got physics labs all over the world. It's a great degree to travel with. So that's another um, plus of studying physics. And the main kind of takeaway of anything you can get from here tonight is the fact that physics is so broad, you've got so many transferable skills. And that's a buzzword that you'll hear all the time studying physics. The ability to be able to problem solve can be applied to so many different jobs, ranging, you know, in skills of IT literacy, um, problem solving, mathematical modeling, the ability to think outside the box. That's what employers are looking for. And then, of course, providing leadership fundamental research, com commercial research and development, education and training, finance, market prediction and modeling. So that's uh, some of these areas are, you know, things that you wouldn't necessarily think of when you think physics, people tend to think like labs, but there's so many industries now that want physicists, they want brains that are able to be good at maths and problem solving and communicating, you know, their findings. Um, industry, yeah, business, public service, um, and engineering, design, innovation. There's a lot of crossover in so many different fields. Um, and again, probably a lot of the jobs that you'd be looking at haven't even been invented yet. It's such a fast, fast moving um, pace. And then specifically, why study physics at DCU? So, you know, you might have an interest in physics, but maybe you're not sure kind of what university to go to, what kind of different options we have offer here for physicists at DCU. So even coming from a student myself, DCU is so student centered and um, it's got really small classes. And um, so at the moment, my class, I do the physics of biomedical sciences and um, there's only about 13 of us in, in the class. Now, I know all together in the year there's just under 50 and I think incoming is a little bit bigger. But the benefits of that are you get a lot more support and um, it's way easier to be able to ask questions and kind of have that rapport with your lecturers and um, excellent teaching yet so the physics department have many um, awards in physics education and research and then yeah a modern diverse curriculum they really keep up to date with you know what industry is looking for what kind of skills they want in their graduates and then being able to incorporate that into their courses 
And yeah, um, great research that goes on in DCU in the physics um, department. So one actually new piece of research is the grain four labs, the picture there on the bottom left. And it's the chair um, of the physics program with biomedical sciences who's actually heading up that research. And they've been in the, the news lately. They've just been awarded some, some more funding um, for that research. So loads of different opportunities that you can get stuck into um, and even in your intro which i'm going to come to later in in the talk and um, you can you know if, if it's research that you're interested in they they do offer some um positions within the research labs for for students maybe during the summer and stuff so in terms of where you guys are probably at so filling out your cao the way it works in dcu is that you would come in through a general entry route so that means that in first year you would do a general overview of physics many different modules i'm going to talk through some of those modules in a minute and you get a taste of the different routes you can go through and then at the end of first year you choose a route so that could be applied physics physics with astronomy physics with biomedical sciences and then our newest one is physics with data analytics so some first year topics that you would cover um I get asked the question a lot, do you have to do physics for Leaving Cert um, to go on and do physics in university? The answer is no, you don't you don't have to. It's not it's not an absolute requirement. Definitely helps, but they do start in first year kind of covering some topics that you would do at Leaving Cert. So some of these topics in college we call them modules, they're kind of like subjects that you do. They would include motion and energy, light and optics, electricity and magnetism, properties of matter. Life, the universe and everything, it's a funny word for the module, the like name, but essentially you get to do some kind of biomedical applications and you get to do some stuff like astronomy and yeah, everything. You touch on a few different things in there. Um, Hands-on lab work, um, you get to do in first year, maths, so you do mainly calculus in first year, a little bit of chemistry, not too much. You wouldn't, you wouldn't need to have done it for leave and search. It's just to build up that kind of basic scientific knowledge and then yeah you will do some programming kind of intro to computing which is really really good to have even if it's not something you're particularly interested in great skill to have and then in second year it's the end of first year so that you start your specialization in um second year and then as you go on after first year some common elements that you would be studying quantum physics um, which doesn't, it sounds bad, but it's, it is actually not, not as bad as it sounds. Um, relativity, electromagnetism, electronics, mathematics, mathematical modeling and physics. Um, so being kind of able to apply your maths and your calculus to the physics that you're actually doing. Programming, of course, um, labs and projects, mathematics, yeah. Quantum physics too, so that would be in third year statistical physics, wave optics, yeah, they're all third year labs. Year three, you have your intro placement. So this is your integrated teaching. And essentially in third year, um, you have a placement in industry from it's January till August. So I've just done mine last year. I'm in final year now. So in third year, I did one. I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about that at a slightly later stage I'll fill you in on that it was a really great opportunity and then in fourth year you get kind of a choice of optional topics so for example I'm doing nanotechnology computational physics and um, two other kind of core ones and then you do your final year project like your thesis so you work with a supervisor and they give you kind of different topics and you can choose what you'd be interested in and then you do that for the whole year and then throughout all years um, in your physics um, modules and this is something that I think sets DCU apart because not all physics courses offer this. I have friends and doing physics in other universities and it's professional development. So that's things, skills that you'll need to acquire to go into the workplace that you might necessarily learn from the physics theory. So things like CV prep skills and you actually you earn credits like part of your assessment for doing these things. So it's really, really good CV prep, interview skills, career planning. Of course, oral and written communication, you do lots of presentations, try and get you comfortable to speak in front of people, which is, you know, it can be really hard, but it's really good skill to have, especially um, going into the workplace. And then, yeah, IT skills and extracurricular language classes. I'm not too sure about that. I think that's a new initiative, so I'm not really too sure what that is. But um, I think they're kind of extra things you can do to get gain more credits. Um, 
So then going into each stream, I'm going to just talk through a little bit about what choices that you have after first year. So the first one is applied physics. So that's the oldest one that we have established in 1980. It's still going really strong. So it's essentially being able to apply physics to you know, areas in industry, whether that's automation, interfacing, computer and theoretical modeling. So it's more of like a general overview. A lot of the time they'll have like similar modules to the rest of us. But um, then, you know, you can do special topics, which the rest of us wouldn't do, like solid state devices, surface science, nanotech, material science and plasma. So they're all, you know, these are all things that are still they're keeping very relevant in, you know, what's being done in research and industry at the moment. And then the other choice you have, this was then established in 2003, physics with astronomy. So for anyone who's mad about space, stars, this could be for you. So you have special topics that the rest of the physics courses wouldn't cover, like stellar physics, astronomical techniques, cosmology, astro astrophysical plasmas, and then kind of more general um, things you'd focus on would be things like um, data, programming, Python, etc. So a lot of the labs with the physics with physics with astronomy will be less experimental and probably more theoretical computational based lab work and then yeah in year three when the other courses do their intra um you can have the opportunity to go on some trips with the physics with astronomy course so i think they went to cern last year um they went to the Dunsink Observatory then uh, here in Ireland and a few other things that you can you can choose from doing and some research projects as well in their intro, which is really interesting. And then this is the course that I do, Physics with Biomedical Sciences. <clears throat> so they have, we do more biology kind of based special topics. We still cover this, a lot of the same physics modules, but we have some more engineering -y biological modules like biomechanics and um, so like the biology and the physics of how you walk things like um artificial limbs microfluidics and microsystems medical diagnostics and then immunology and cell biology so i personally didn't do biology for leave insert but you do get a good kind of general overview of some physiology and anatomy although it's not too focused on it's more the physics like say for example in microfluidics you might look at blood flow rates so it's still the physics of things that are in the body not necessarily focusing on the specific biology and then of course some kind of generic aspects we have things like data design and fabrication skills so see the kind of bionic hand there that you see we learned how to use CAD design to do that. I think that was in third year labs. So um, computer-based kind of design fabrication and analytical skills, of course. And then an option with this degree in your intro program or your placement is that you can go and work in a hospital doing a medical physics placement um, or into biopharma company. So some people went and did like quality control um, in places such as BMS, if you've heard about MSD, Johnson Johnson, things like that. I personally didn't. I'm going to get on to what I ended up doing for my intro, but that they are other options. And then this is the newest course that we have established, um, well, I guess two years ago now, 2024. And so it's physics with data analytics. It wasn't actually an option for me. It started the year after um, I joined, so I didn't get to choose it, but it's really cool. It's really, it's, this course in particular is really keeping up with what's going on in the world right now in terms of technology. So uh, they do special topics like databases, data viz, probability and statistics, machine learning, AI, programming, image processing. So it's looking, it's still, it's still, you're still doing physics modules, but it's more with that kind of data analytics, AI thing, stuff that's coming out at the moment. And this course in particular works with a lot of industry so for example Accenture that you see there they're who I did my intro with um they are in development with this course with DCU so for example some of the kind of novel teaching methods that's mentioned there is that they have like hackathons that are co-developed with Accenture and they come in and then you do that as part of your assessments and stuff so um really fun and kind of innovative that they have going on in that course and then more fundamental um modules that you might cover would be things like quantum computing, solid state devices, um, etc. Yeah, so DC graduate, DCU graduates do really well. So there's some mentions there of past graduates who have won kind of different honorary degrees and 
um, fellowship awards and stuff. So there's a lot of uh, content on the DCU physics website about that if you want to read up more about it. And then I thought I'd just do a slide about kind of my experience as a physics student in DCU. So even though I came in in the biomedical sciences route, I did um, my internship in analytics and AI. And this is something that I had no idea about um, going into the course. I didn't cover it in any of my modules, but I really wanted to kind of try something new. And I applied for the internship and I got it. And while I was there, pretty much learned everything um, from scratch. Of course, I had my transferable skills, which is the buzzword I mentioned. So a lot of problem solving, uh, thinking outside the box, um, analytical skills that I was able to apply and kind of quick learning. So, for example, I would have done a lot of different machine learning. I have I have some uh, pictures there of certs that I achieved while I was there. So I did some um, machine learning, regression and classification, uh, some deep learning. And then I had lots of fun. I, or I was on like the social committee and I organized a sports day and I did some um, presentations and stuff uh, that you can see. So it just it built my skills so much from a technical side, but also um uh, uh, interpersonal side so it's great to do um the internship in the course you learn way more than just kind of physics stuff and then in final year and now I'm doing my thesis basically it's called simulating swarms and murmurations I won't get into it too much but essentially uh, it's just to give you a flavor of what some kind of projects that you can do so I'm simulating bird murmurations and studying collective motion so this might be an area where you think there's not really much physics there and it's not necessarily a biomedical application so it just shows even if you do choose a certain degree route you're not confined to that the staff in the physics department are really good at like listening to what you're interested in so I came back from my internship really interested in data and AI and you know I went on and did my thesis in something that didn't necessarily have to do with the biomedical aspect so um, and then just to mention as well, um, I'm attending a conference this year for undergraduate women in physics. And uh, it's just to show that there's many different uh, things that you can get involved in in the physics world. It's not just all about studying. Um, so that's going to be a really exciting um, thing that I'm going to be a part of this year. And yeah, so just to finish off, I have some links here if you want to scan the QR code. If you want to read up on any more of the courses, um, there's the links to them there and it kind of goes into a little bit more detail if you still have some questions. So I'm going to just go back and check the chat and see if there's any more questions at all. Don't have any questions there at the moment. That's okay. I know it's probably a lot of information to take in. What I will do is I'm going to leave a link in there and if um, maybe you don't want to type in at the moment and maybe you kind of want to hear about some other courses and stuff first. If you think of anything that you kind of want to ask about, you can click the link that I've sent in. You can search my name and you can ask me uh, any questions there and I'll reply to you uh, as best I can. But anyways, thank you very much for listening and I hope you got to learn uh, a few things about what we offer here in the physics department in TCU.